Well, hello, welcome to Izzy's Tarot. Thank you for coming to my channel. You could have gone anywhere, but you came to my channel for that. I'm extremely grateful. Thank you so much. I'm going to do a Pisces love prediction reading for April 10th through April 16th. Please keep in mind, this is a general read. If it's not your story, it's not your story. Don't try to make it your story. Just take what you can from it. Leave the rest. In addition, please know the energy can go either way. It can be your energy, your significant other's energy, or someone else's in your love space. Please keep that in mind as you watch and as you listen. If you enjoy my reading or if my reading resonates with you, please give me a subscription or a like. I'd be most humbled. I'm always honored and very grateful if you decide to give me a subscription or a like. Thank you in advance if you do. Let's see what's going on with my fun, empathetic, kind, sweet, loving Pisces. Show me, spirit guys, what's going on with my Pisces. Show me what's going on with my Pisces, spirit guys. Let's see what's going on. Let's see, Pisces, what you got going on. Two of Pentacles. Knight of Wands. The Two of Cups. The Queen of Pentacles. And the Devil. Uh-oh. Uh oh, Pisces. <laughs> there is someone that's in your love space. Someone that you are considering. Because, see, see I, I see this two of pentacles here. You're juggling emotions when it comes to this person. This is someone that you, you know, you, you, you're juggling emotions. You're, you're trying to decide if you're going to stop being this Knight of Wands. And this Knight of Wands is an energy of coming in and out. An energy of, of um, being a, a playgirl or a playboy. Never settling down. Having a lot of different women. Or a lot of different men. Now, I'm going to tell you, I do think that I may be reading for a man. Because I think some, you are considering uh, giving up your player's card. Hey, I don't know how else to say it. With this, this emotion that you have going on, you're going back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. Someone has captured you. You've got caught. Because here's this Knight of Wands here. The Knight of Wands doesn't settle down. The Knight of Wands kind of does what they want to do. They play how they want to play. They don't settle down to one person. And everybody knows that. They're what we call a player. They're just a player. They just do their thing. Now, don't get me wrong. When they're with you, this Knight of Wands is, is, is on point. You, you feel like you're the only one, the only person. Or if, you know, if this is a guy and he's with a woman, she feels very special. Because when the Knight of Wands comes in, it's very, very passionate. But one thing about the Knight of Wands, they're here today, gone tomorrow. They'll ghost you in a minute and think nothing of it. Because, you know, they are the players. They are the people, you know, in, in the community um, that all the women know. But, but somehow the women know them, but they still want to get with them, you know. That dude. They're that dude. They're that dude. And I understand is everybody thinks that they can tie this dude down. They think they can tie this dude down. But let me tell you something. No one can be tied down unless they're ready to be tied down. And guess what has happened to you? You got shook. Somebody caught you. And when I say caught you, you weren't looking. They weren't trying to tie you down. But you fell for them and you've fallen in love with them. Because here is the Two of Cups. And the Two of Cups is unity. Uh, the Two of Cups is having a good time. The Two of Cups is when you come together, you you know, you can't wait to be around them. Um, the Two of Cups, this is a person that um, is good for you too. Because you have the same morals, you have the same mindset. But also I see this person, they don't chase you. They don't. They don't get. They they don't. They care, but they don't care because this person is this person is a queen of pentacles. If it is an earth sign, a Taurus, Virgo, a Capricorn, they have their own paper. They don't need to chase you for paper. They can do what they want to do. They can love who they want to love. They can play how they want to play. That is that has turned you on, and that has made you want to turn in your player's card because you have fallen in love with this person. This person is not a person to chase. This person, though, is a good person, a good grounded person for you. Now, what's interesting, it could be a Capricorn because I do see the Devil card as the last card on this 
portion of your reading. The devil card represents the Capricorn sun sign. Now, the devil devil card also means lustful. Um, it can mean um, sometimes people's it's obsession. And, and let me say something. You and this person also have a great intimate life. You really do. You have a great intimate life and you also have money here. There is nothing that you would want for with this person. Of course, there will be problems and changes and things like that. Just what life brings to you. But the morals and the goals and what they want, what you want are the same. Um, and this person you are incredibly in love with. And as I always say, the devil gets a bad rap. Because the devil card is can say obsession, um, lustful. And, and I do believe it's lustful too. But see, I don't think that that's a bad thing. I think that a relationship and a marriage that has lust, I think that's really good. As long as they have love with it. And this card to me means lust and love. Because in order for you to be in love with someone, you have to be obsessed with with their energy, you know, because they put you on a high. Whenever you want to be around that person, you're obsessed with being around that person because they are, um, when you're around them, there's a high. You want to be around them. And you're obsessed with this energy with this person. I mean, you have, you've really fallen for this person. I'm just being very honest. So if this is your read, please give me three to five minutes and let me just clarify the reading because I want to see what the Spirit guys, what additional things the Spirit guys going to let us know about this read. So sit back, relax. Just give me three to five minutes. I'm going to clarify the reading. Why is this two of pentacles here? Show me spirit, guys. Why is the two of pentacles here for my Pisces? Show me why the two of pentacles is here for Pisces. Oh, I have a nine of cups. Look at that. Wish fulfilled. I told you, you got caught. You, <laughs> Whomever this is, they, they bad. Because they have caught you. You are ready to turn in that player's card and be with them. Let's see why this Knight of Wands is here. Show me spirit, guys. I have a Knight of Wands. Show me why the Knight of Wands is here. Oh, look at this. Four of Wands? Oh, no, you all in. Pisces, whomever you are with, you are all in. You want to marry them. You see a, a celebration. Oh, you're, 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 you're not playing with anyone else but this person. You're not even thinking about anyone else but this person. You've fallen in love. And when I say in love, I mean you fall stupid in love, incredibly in love with this person. You've already think you also see them as possibly a soulmate. Whenever you see the four of wands, you see the two and the two, and there's a portal that's there. And that's two, those two twos uh, means that um they could be your soulmate, eleven eleven. It could be your soulmate person. You I mean they definitely they didn't have to do anything but love on you. And you guys have fallen in love and um you're just ready. You're just ready. So let's see why this Two of Cups here. Let's keep reading. Let's see why this Two of Cups is here. Show me spirit, guys. Why is the Two of Cups here? Wow. Ace of Cups. Man, when I tell you you're in love, man, this is wow. And I will say this is a soulmate love. Wow. This is a, uh, it's over the Two of Cups too? You're talking about in love. In love. Can't see anyone else. You have fallen in love. And here uh, with the Ace of Cups, Ace of Cups is an agape love, a God-given love. Ace of Cups is also um, a forgiving love. This is an unconditional love. You are definitely in love with this person. So let's see why this Queen of Pentacles is here. Show me. Why is this Queen of Pentacles here for you? Oh, I have a Five of Pentacles. Uh-oh. I have a Five of Pentacles. What is it, Pisces? This person has money. Do you feel like you're, you're less than them? Is that what the problem is? Well, I'm going to say this to you. You're not a victim, Pisces. I know how Pisces can be. Oh, 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 oh. No. Pick your head up, Pisces. You're in love with them. Yes, they may have more money than you. Does not matter, especially if you're a man. If I'm reading for your man, it does not matter. If they love you and you're in love with them, that's what matters. As long as you're bringing money, as long as you're working and bringing money to the table as well. Don't worry about that. That'll all play out because this person's in love with you too. Don't muck it up by feeling like you're not good enough or that you, you know, that um, you're just not good enough. Yes, you are good enough. This person, yes, you are good enough. The energy is there. Yes, they have more money than you, but that doesn't mean a thing because you're in love with them and they're in love with you. So let's see why this devil card is here. Show me spirit, guys. Why is the devil card here? Show me spirit, guys. Look 
look at that. King of Wands. King of Wands. Now, if you're a man, you about to be a husband. If you're a woman, you're about to get a husband. This is a King of Wands that has come out over a devil. King of Wands. King of Wands is a leader. King of Wands, you are, you are in lust and in love. You are incredibly in love with this person. Yeah, and not only that, you want to marry them. Because the King of Wands is my husband card. You want to marry them, whether you're a man or you want to marry this woman. If you're a woman, you want to marry this man. This is definitely a marriage opportunity here. Um, um, but let's look at the very beginning. Two of Pentacles, you're juggling these emotions. And I said, if you're a man, you're about to turn in your player card because this is Knight of Wands here. You know, Knight of Wands just plays how they want to play. They have many women, many women. Um, if this just is an energy... Then this Knight of Wands here, and, and like I said, I could be reading for a man, but I could be reading for a woman. I don't know. But this Knight of Wands is an energy that's very passionate, always there for you, but they ghost you too. Knight of Wands has more than one woman. They don't settle down. They're the bachelor, the forever bachelor, the forever bachelorette. But here, look at this. You got the Nine of Cups over this Two of Pentacles. That Two of Pentacles is juggling emotions, but that Nine of Cups says you found your wish fulfilled. You're about to turn in everything, no matter what. You don't care. You have fallen in love, deep love, with this Four of Wands that's here. Also, this is your soulmate. You see, the, and I said, with the 11-11, with the 2 11, 11 on this card, the Four of Wands, celebration, marriage, engagement. You are falling in love with this person. You, you are turning in player cards. You don't care. You want to be with this person. Now, I see the Two of Cups. And the Two of Cups here is unity, togetherness, uh, loving each other the right way, public displays of affection. You and this person are on the same page, too, when it comes to what you want from life, how you want to do it, those things as well. This is one of those relationships that people are envious of. And here you are with the Ace of Cups, an unforgiving love, a, 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 un, I mean, excuse me, an unconditional love, an agape, a God-given love. That's what you have with this person. Queen of Pentacles, yes, if this person makes more money than you, if you're a man, get over it. Get over it. Stop feeling like you're not good enough. You are good enough. If you're this woman and you feel like something is happening with your guy or you feel like they're feeling this way as being a victim or feeling like you need to deal with this. Deal with this and move on. The devil card is there can be a Capricorn person, but this is a lustful and a love relationship. But more importantly, you're obsessed with the energy that they bring. You are incredibly in love incredibly in love because that's what that um devil does you know to be in love as i always say you have to be in love you have to want that energy you need that high around you all the time that's why you always want to be around a person that's why you're obsessed with them if you're a man you will be married that is my husband called that king of wands if you are a woman there's a husband that's that's right there um with you so let's see show me show me oh big happy changes that's what it's saying. Big happy changes. That's definitely what's going on here. You're about to be married.